Shea Simpson back with you here from Guitar at Work. This is cool. A little bit of Jimi Hendrix here. Hey, Joe. Uh, I'm doing it on acoustic. Obviously, he's on electric for that one. Uh, but we can definitely do it here on the acoustic. It's Hendrix and uh, some really cool things in there. I think you'll find it more accessible than you might have thought if you haven't played this before. Uh, so welcome back. Shane here from Guitar at Work and lots more coming at you. Thanks for subscribing and all that good stuff. Hit that uh, you know, thumbs up thing. It really does help me hit this end. Um, sheets. If you can go head to patreon.com slash guitar work, grab these song sheets. This song sheet, I think you can find the tab and everything helps you out quite a bit. You can go there and download that. Um, we are looking at no capo and all of that good stuff. Um, I'm going to okay, uh, if you if you don't know an E blues scale, that's okay for now. You can just go off the numbers. But if you do want, I do have a video out on the E blues scale. That's where uh, some of this lead stuff is coming from. You may benefit from knowing that scale beforehand, but you don't have to. It's all good if you just want to do the song. Um, now, being um, he's playing this with a full band, when we're doing the strumming part, we'll kind of simulate what's going on there as one guitar. Okay. Um, but the big money riff, I'll call it here, is we're going to put first finger here. First finger, I'm assuming you can read tablature, that number system. First finger is going to go to the third fret of that B string. Third fret of the B string. And you're going to see a little slur indicator, SL, meaning slide. So I am going to slide from the third to the fifth fret. But notice, I'm going to pick two strings. You'll see a three and a zero that are vertically aligned. That means to play them at the same time. So if you just sat on that, it's pretty sour sounding. But he's going to correct that very quickly by sliding three to five. Up he goes like that. So, hey, if you if you find you don't hear your slide as loud as you'd want to, you got to find out how much pressure you got to keep on that finger to so you can actually hear it slide. So, there you go, and keep him stand him up nice and tall so he doesn't interfere with that high E string he was trying to ring as well. So, that's two notes at the same time. Slid three to five, and then we reverse that process. We're sliding five to three. There we go. So again, and it's pretty quick on the way back too. You go, you've got that so far. My second finger is now going to play the fourth fret of that G string, and we're going to play the G string and the B string together. B string will be open. So, here, fourth fret G, going to play the that's going to turn out to be the same note, right? It's the unison, which sounds odd until there we go. So, again, sliding four to two, you'll see that. And let me go from the top again three and uh, three sliding to five, five sliding back to three. And now my middle finger is going to get on that. I'm going to get rid of that first finger too. Middle finger is going to go four down to two. And I'm playing the B string open as well at the same time. Just fattens it up. Now you also have to pull off at that point. So that's one pick stroke for the slide from four. Pull off. And I'm going to come to rest here on the second fret of the D string. Okay. So let me take it from the, uh, the four slid down to the two. Here we go. So fourth fret of the G string, playing the B string open at the same time. There's your slide, pull off, and then landing on the second fret of the D string, and then big bass note there, big low E bass. Um, so in context, very slowly here, three to five, five to three, four to two, pull off, and then picking the D string there at the second fret. Let me do that again slowly. Here we go. Five to three, four to two, pulling off and land in there and then finally low E and then it says E strum there E that's an E chord play the low E first and then that that arrow you're seeing is a down strum even though it's an up arrow remember the perspective of the guitar the uh, bottom string is on the fat string is on the low is the low line there if you find that confusing so we have got so far in the intro strum Stop tape when you need to. That's a lot to, uh, to take on in one shot. Hey, second line, second line of the intro here. We've got the low E again, which is played open. I'm going to take that E shape and drag it up until my middle and ring are on the fifth fret. You'll see a pair of fives there. No need to move this guy. He can just drag up as one shape. You're going to have to be careful not to hit that string with your right hand. You're seeing a pair of fives, and I'm going to slide in uh, from maybe one fret blow. It is there. So open E. I just drag that E shape up there, and then drag them. Uh, bring them back one fret. You'll see a pair of fours. Open E, and then strum your E. Okay, that's all in the second line of that tab. Let's do that again slowly here. So bass note, second line. I'm gonna slide up to five. Same shape, and then open E, down to four. Pair of fours there. Open E, and then strum an E. 
There we go. Uh, you have to watch out. Remember, if you're hearing something you don't like, like... Uh, Right? If do not hit that string with your right hand that you have that first finger on when you're dragging them up. You could get rid of them too. Let me do it that way. That might be a little safer, but if you're, if you're, don't, if you're not thinking your right hand uh, is able to miss that string. So uh, second line, very slowly, bass note, down here, and then up we go, slide in five and five. Bass note, five and five, four and four, down a fret, open E. There we go. So here it is, the intro so far, what we have. First line. Strum. Strum. There we go. Then, this lead part here, we're going to go. Let's slow that down. That's in the, uh, at the end of that second line. Open E. Open A. Second fret, the A string. Open D. Open A, 2nd fret A string, open D, and 2nd fret A string. There we go, and in time, yeah, yeah, I've gone to the rest here for that, rest here, resting on the, uh, on the bridge so I don't miss all those strings. Um, here's your whole intro so far, very slow, here it is, top, first line. Strum, 2nd line. Strum. And we're into the strumming at that point. Again, you stop tape many, many times. Rewind, pause, rewind, go back and forth and get it. Um, you'll have, and like anybody else, if this is new to you, you'll have to practice it. Like, and take it one chunk at a time. Don't expect to go all the way through in one shot. That's tricky. Um, hey, when we get to the chords, uh, that's going to be the easy part for you. I'm assuming you know a C, a G, a D, and an A. If not, there's pictures of them there. You may have to uh, stop tape there and get that together. Uh, so I'm gonna go from a regular C here, C, two beats on him. Get to the strumming in a second. G, two beats. Here's a D. Here's an A. So they're two beats a piece because they are sharing a bar, right? So here's, C. let me take it from C again. One and two, here's a G. Three and four and D, one and two. Here's an A, three. Now E gets two long bars, one and two. Three, and here comes another big money riff. Two, and you'll see that in the E bar. What was that? So a hammer, zero to two. Open D, second fret A string, and open D again, and the second fret of the D string. When I do that last note, I'm getting, I'm, that finger is already in the right spot for an E, so I figure I may have to go back to E to finish up the strumming, so it might be a good idea to, uh, to use that fingering there, so you don't have to retreat back to an E with a different fingering. Um, in time, see, before we get to a fancier strumming pattern, here's a C, one, and two, here's a G, three, and four, here's a D, one, and two, here's an A, three, and here's your E, and a one, and two, and three, one, and two, and three. So that, the big money riff in the E is uh, off beat three. I'll take it from that E just before the big money riff. One, and two, and three. One, two, and three. I missed my last note there. And down, down, down. So here we go. Um, I'll introduce a fancier pattern. Um, now there's a whole band going on there, so if you're just one person with a guitar around the campfire or what have you, you'll see at the bottom of the page, I'm on a C chord here, and I'm going to mention also that I like C slash G on this particular song, it fattens things up a little bit, all that is, you can play a regular C, totally, totally fine. C, I'm going to move my ring finger here one string thicker, and uh, put the pinky where that finger used to be, so boom. C with a G in the bottom, it just means you have all six strings available to you, you're going to really pile into that strum, um, but again, C is totally fine. Uh, but if you're comfortable with C slash G, it's probably preferred. I'll take it from regular C here, three, four, I'm gonna go bass, down, down, up, G bass, bass, down, down, up, bass, down, down, up, bass, bass, down. That's the first line of the, of the chords. Let me do that again. So that's bass, down, down, up, here's your G, bass, bass, down, down, here's a D, bass, down, down, A, bass, bass, down, here's an E, bass, down, big money, two, gotta finish up that E, so in time, C, G, D, bass, down, down, up, bass, bass, down, here's an E, bass, down, big riff, 
However you wanted to at the end after after the thing to your it kind of builds the tension G D A boom boom bow here's an E boom round around it goes and that's the song guys uh, you may struggle with that intro but it's kind of cool to have it you could do a campfire version skip the intro altogether and just run into going right into that that's totally fine too depending on what you're trying to get out of these videos right and come back to the intro when you're feeling up to it hey so lots of fun a good one by request and thank you sean from ottawa for that one uh he's a great a great guy i appreciate it and uh thank you for the thumbs up they really mean a lot at this end guys really appreciate it if you don't have the sheet you can go get it patreon.com slash guitar at work as well as some other things up there and uh thanks for subscribing hit that subscribe button the bell notification tells you when new videos have come out so come on back it's been a lot of fun see you soon bye bye Three, four, five.